Hey guys, it's Miranda back with another video. So today I'm just going to do a little toy rotation for you guys. Um, I have a blog post you can see. I'll link it down below. But um, where I go into detail of like why toy rotations are so good for like your kid. But um, yeah, toy rotations are great for your kids. Like it helps them not get bored. And then I feel like he learns more stuff because he's really engaging with the toys that I have out. When there's not like a cluttered mess of toys in um, our little play area, I feel like he's able to pick out the toy he wants to play with and play with it and actually get some kind of um, learning or skills from it. So I'll just bring you really quick through the toy rotation, uh, what I have it out this past week and what I'm going to be putting out. This is some of the stuff that I had out from last week. So you can see I always have out the balls. I had out this puzzle. Um, Ari, bar Ari barely got to this. So I'm going to be putting that up. Ari was in love with this new toy from Love Every. Um, he, he's not understanding the color matching concept. But I'm trying to work on it with him. So I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to leave his cars out, cards out. I'm going to get rid of the car. He didn't really play with that. And that thing, that little drop box from uh, KiwiCo, it just kind of made him mad. Because whenever he had to pull out the drawer, like, he wasn't able to put it back in without a little help. So it just kind of made him mad. So I'm going to get rid of that this week. Um, and then over here, I have the toys. I mean, books. I just recently uh, switched out the library books that I have. So most of this is, like, library books fall themed and stuff like that i'm gonna keep out the block set he's really been enjoying that so i'm just gonna keep it out um and then over here most of this i'm keeping out too so like if he's really enjoying toys i don't want to take those away from him a toy rotation is more for like to you know so he doesn't get bored and so he can uh learn new skills you know so, if he's, like, really enjoying things, I want to leave them out. Like, I just recently left the coin box out for, like, three weeks. But he is starting to have enough of that, so I'm going to put it away. I will be leaving out the stacker, the book, and the puzzles. He loves those puzzles. I'm going to be picking up the blocks. And I'll be switching out those books for some Love Every books. So, let me quickly... Just um, switch everything around and I'll come back and show you guys. So I'll start back over here. So that's his teethers that we always keep out no matter what. And then I have like little dino stacker down there. I switched that in. That's different from what was there last week. Last week. Keeping out the puzzles, the soft books, and the stacker like I said. Because Ari's really been enjoying those. And then I moved the puzzle over here. Because I needed more space. Not puzzle, peg pegboard thing over here because I needed more space on the other side. Um, yes, the blocks are still out. These books are still out. But what I did over here was um, Ari's been loving books lately, so I wanted to add some more books out. So I put his little Love Every books, all of them right there. And um, I'm keeping out his flashcards too. And then he has a doctor's appointment actually coming up Monday. So I put out his little, I got these doctor dentist kits from um, the Dollar Tree. And I thought it'd be great to put that out so he could kind of play with that before our doctor appointment Monday. And then on this bottom shelf, I decided to put out this little puzzle. I thought it'd be cute. I have other dino, the dinosaur stacker. So I thought another little dino toy would be fun. So that's like a typical toy rotation for us. What we'll do. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. Um, I'll link the blog post below where I go into like a little bit more detail um, about like why I'm taking what out and why I'm putting what I put in. So if you want to see that, you can click below. I also have tons of other blogs like toy reviews and I have a book review and like what my baby ate today's so if you want to check those out it'll all be linked below and I'll see you next time thank you bye